Almost dead. Nice. There we go. What's your assessment of this incident? Welcome back everybody to another Destiny 2 video. Today we're going to be going over the Nightfall, the Inverted Spire this week. I'm going to be showing you guys how exactly to complete it with the five minutes remaining that you need in order to get the final part of the Rat King quest done. Now, if you guys do not know, each week as far as the Nightfall goes, it is going to have a different set of modifiers that you need to do in order to keep that timer going and to keep adding time to it. So last week, you had to simply just kill enemies, and that would add time to it. This week, you have to do what is called jump through the Vex time gates. Now, do not be alarmed when you very first start off this Nightfall. You're going to notice that there is no Vex time gates. They do not spawn in until a little bit later on in the Nightfall. So like I said, I'm going to be walking you through this entire Nightfall here step by step. Parts that you need to actually kill enemies, parts that you need to jump on your sparrows, um, and other parts that you can simply run right through. So of course, when you very first start off the Nightfall here, jump on your sparrow and head to this very first spawn location. Now, one once you make it over here, you're going to need to take out all of the enemies that are down in this area. Do keep in mind, in the bottom left of your screen, you're going to notice that it pops up and say the Void Energy. The Void Energy means that the Void weapons that you're using are going to be applying a much higher DPS. If you are using a Arc or Solar while the Void is active, they will actually apply less DPS than using a regular kinetic weapon. So do keep that in mind. If you are not running a Solar or Arc, then use your kinetic weapons up until that Void goes. But you really do want to kind of spread your fire team out here as far as do having an Arc, Solar, Void. And then of course your subclasses are really going to come into play when you get to the final boss. Now this part right here, you can simply just jump right over here. There is no need to do anything here. Uh, these portals that we're about to go into are not the Vex time portal, so do not think these are going to add time here. They look very similar to this, but this is not actually it here. So now when you get to this next area here, you're going to notice a bunch of enemies up here on the left side. You do not need to take any of these guys out, but do keep in mind that depending on what kind of damage they're doing, you do have a solar burn going. Like right now in ours, we have a solar burn active, so it's good if you can go invis. It'll definitely help out here. But again, just keep running through it. If any of your fire team members do go down in this area, do not worry about reviving them. You will bring them through um, moving into this next part. I can't find none of our gas stations have them. Ah, it's going good, Nate. Going good. I don't have anything on. I don't have the Mida and the Mini on. All right, now when you get to this area right here, that is right there. That is going to be the very first Vex ring. That's what we're talking about here. You want to wait till all three fire team members are here. These do despawn after a certain amount of time, but only once you go through the very first one. So make sure your entire team is there. You can even take out a few enemies uh, down below if you feel the need to. But once you go through the first one, the timer will spawn, and then it is just a race from here to get through the rest of them. Now, do keep in mind, I did not know this running this part here you do actually have to kill all the enemies in this area i was kind of rushing a little bit here i tried to actually go through the next part and as you can see the door is locked um, so you do need to take out all the enemies in this area keeping in mind what the burn is like i said the burn is going to help you out a lot knowing what it is the constant call outs um, are definitely necessary in this nightfall I gotcha, I gotcha. I 
Uh, the raid comes out at uh, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so you got eight hours left. All right, take it easy, Patrick. All right, now once you make it to this area here again, you're gonna just be jumping over. You do not need to take out any of the enemies up on these platforms here. You're just gonna simply be floating down uh, as far down to the bottom as you can go here without getting hit by any of these guys. Uh, we got a little bit lucky here. It is a void energy burn. Um, those guys do do solar. Um, the uh, the one shooting or shooting arc. So got a little bit lucky here. So if you do get the opportunity to, like I said, just simply just run all the way down here, jump. Once you get down to the bottom, you're gonna hop on your sparrow and start making your way um, over to this area here. And we'll take out the uh, we'll take out the two snipers. It's arc right now. All right, now after you pass everybody here, you're gonna be, this big crater is gonna pop up here. There is gonna be two snipers, one on the left and one on the right. No matter what the burn is, you wanna take out both of these right away uh, because they do do a ton of damage uh, when it is their burn. So I believe they do shoot arc. Um, so you just want to be careful there um, as far as all of these enemies go here with the red bar You do not actually need to take them out. Uh, it does help out a little bit But you don't need to so as you can see here more of these vex uh, time plates have activated So we, what you want to do here is split one left one right and just simply jump through them again So like I said 30 seconds you get on each individual one um, you, you definitely need to get these done. So even if you're low on health, don't worry about the enemies. Like I said, a timer has already started. So you need to get as many of these done as possible. If you can get them all, great. Um, but they're not necessary. In this area right here, they're not too bad. Um, in the next area is really where it comes down to, you know, whether you're, you're going to get them all or not. So just simply jumping through all of these here. Um, and then you're going to be taking out, there's going to be two main guys that you got to take out. Again, one's going to be on the left, one is going to be on the right. Once you have taken these guys out, uh, then you're going to go activate a little panel up there on the front right hand side and use the portal to uh, make your way to the next area. These Colossus up top, what's the uh, burn right now? It's dark. Guardian down. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get this, this big guy up here. He's down. And also do keep in mind, it is always better to get the revives, um, whether it's all the way at the end of their timer or right when it's available. Uh, because most of the time, if you don't get the revives, they do actually end up spawning in the previous area where you are at. So it's always better for that player. If they could just wait, you know, three, four more seconds for you to get the revive, it's always better than them spawning all the way back in the back and then making their way all the way back up. So like I said, once you have taken out these two bosses right here, um, that's when you're going to make your way up here to the front right hand side and flick that switch. Ah, we, I think we were at 10 minutes here last time. I hate those things that just fall out of nowhere. Yep, all good. All right, now when you drop down into this area here, this area can be a little bit tricky, but we found a really, really easy strategy. Uh, once you activate this first part here, um, you can actually use the Sunshot, that's what I was looking at there, um, but I still wanted to keep my Mita on, but the Sunshot actually does really, really good damage in this area, especially when all of the uh, the crazy looking dogs come out, but you don't gotta worry about them. What we ended up doing in this area is simply running around in a circle. Um, you can take out a few enemies if you want, but it is actually a lot easier to simply just run around. Um, you do not need 
to do anything except for stay in this area and of course stay alive now if everybody does die here uh, you can actually everybody just sits in that menu for a second um, all the enemies will eventually despawn once the transit you know system reacting has reached a hundred percent so just simply run around until it reaches its 100 percent and then you're going to notice another portal is going to open up in order to go into the next area Keep running around the outside. I hope this is safe. Cabal don't need to stick the landing. Oh, that's Will so much do? easier. All right, now when you go into this area right here, again, you don't need to take out anybody. I had really, really low health here. That's why I was trying to get a little bit of distraction done. But for the most part, you can literally just run right through here. And again, another area that you can just run right through. Now, when you get into this next area, this probably is one of those areas where you kind of have to judge whether do you want to get all the rings or do you want to survive? Um, this is definitely something, you know, we ended up putting one guy on the bottom, one guy on top, and then one guy, his main job was just to make it to the end and carry everybody through. So as you can see here, I'm um, just jumping up. I, I missed a little one to the left there. Not a big deal again. You know, you want to get the majority of these, but you do not have to get all of them. Um, this is a, a fairly difficult area, you know, to begin with. So I think I ended up getting, you know, three or four here. Uh, my other fire team member ended up getting two, um, which was plenty enough to make it through. Um, so as you can see, you know, we're at 10 minutes here. We got five minutes left. Um, you know, not not very difficult at all. We're going into the final, you know, boss room right now, which obviously is split up into three different areas. So you do want to actually save your supers here until you get to the final area. Uh, the very first time we ever ended up running this nightfall, we actually all kind of made the mistake of popping our super in this first area, which is a big mistake because obviously he goes immune once his health goes down to a certain point. Now once he goes immune, if you want to speed things up just a little bit, you can actually go ahead and jump off the side there. You do not have to wait until the floor disappears. Um, you can actually, like I said, just jump right off the side and uh, it'll, like I said, just speed things up just a little bit. Alright, we got three and a half minutes. It's switching guns. right now oh, I'm dead oh he now he knocked me off hopefully my uh spawn is down there I got I got yeah, I got three seconds, so hopefully it goes solar right now. 
Now when you do get down into this final area, you can actually work on ads for a little bit because the boss is going to be immune for the first, you know, few seconds that you're down here. So what you're going to want to do is depending on what your super abilities are, you're going to want to make sure you wait until those are the modifiers that pop up in the bottom left. So depending on what you're running. So at this point in time, you know, we had a hunter who was running his void. Um, I was my warlock. I was running my Nova bomb. Uh, but if you have a Titan who is running the, the hammers, you know, the hammers can get popped during the solar phase. You know, the, you know, art can get popped during the arc phase. I mean, you know, so on and so forth. So the tether got missed there, but still with a missed tether, um, the Nova bomb still did enough. Um, and then of course, switching over to arc, the storm caller is able to just finish him off here. Um, so even though I did die, as you can see here, he was still down. The Rat King quest was done. So I do hope you guys did enjoy. Definitely hit that like button down below, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.